पहले 330 334 की अपने तो 400 पार हो रहा है आपके आशीर्वाद मेरे सराखों पर पिक्चर दिस what was once a united front of opposition parties now appears to be a puzzle with a million missing pieces the birth of the india bloc stole the spotlight last year leaders from top opposition parties joined forces gun blazing to take down the modi government in 2024 just after that karnataka fell like dominoes from the hands of bjp with congress clinching a landslide victory that resounded across the nation जितनी भी हिंसा करेंगे उतनी जोरों से हम सब मिलकर कांग्रेस पार्टी के लोग हमारे गठबंधन के लोग मोहब्बत की दुकानें पूरे हिंदुस्तान में खोलेंगे बट देन थिंग्स टू कटर्न वंस यूनिफाइड इंडिया ब्लॉक फाउंड इट सेल्फ इन दिस एरे अनश्योर ऑफ हु वॉज स्टिल इन दर लाइन एंड हु हैड बिट्रेड How did this promising alliance fall apart so brutally just ahead of Lok Sabha polls, leaving many confused about who remains loyal to the cause and who has backed out? Even when the alliance was formed, it left many thinking about how will Congress fight along with its arch rival AAP in Delhi and Punjab? What will happen to Mamta Banerjee in West Bengal? Who will be the prime ministerial face for the opposition alliance? Let's take over. West Bengal has 42 Lok Sabha seats and Mamta offered Congress only 2 seats which came as a shock to the second biggest party in the parliament. The discussions on seat sharing continued for months but the two parties never came to a conclusion. After months of fruitless negotiations, Mamta publicly declared that there would be no alliance with Congress in West Bengal. This ideologically keeps TNC out of the overall alliance as its presence in other states is next to negligible. আমরা কংগ্রেসকে বলেছিলাম 300 আসন একা লড়ো আমরা সবাই মদত করব আর 243 টা আসন সব রিজিওনাল পার্টিকে দিয়ে দাও যারা যেখানে স্ট্রং তারা লড়ুক সেখানে তুমি মতব বড়ি করবে না হলো হলো না প্রথমে এই চলে এলো বাংলায় সিচুয়েশন ইকোড ইন পাঞ্জাব এন্ড দিল্লি এস এল দে কংগ্রেস হ্যাড আম আদি পার্টি অ্যাজ इट्स ইন্টারনাল অপজিশন আরবিন কেজরিওয়াল লেড আপ said that it would not go with congress in the two states as claimed by reports kejriwal wanted to go solo in punjab and give only two seats to the congress in delhi now to the spotlight stealing janta dal united leader nitish kumar he left everyone guessing about his next show stopping move he flipped again and moved back to bjp chamber and his iconic red rose picture with pm modi tells the entire story Nitish was one of the prime faces in the India alliance. Nitish was even seen as a potential prime ministerial face for the India bloc. Reports say that Mamta was not happy with Nitish's JDU having a bigger say in the alliance. The December elections of the five states brought BJP back into the limelight. BJP registered a landslide victory in three Hindi heartland states where it had Congress as direct competitor. Severe defeats in state polls have left Congress worried about the upcoming general elections. Regional parties also started to rethink their seat sharing plan. Enter Congress's plan B, the Bharat Joro Nyaya Yatra. Rahul Gandhi's cross country tour took center stage, but the absence of alliance partner in Bihar and West Bengal raised eyebrows. RJD not joining the yatra came as the biggest shock for the Congress amidst Nitish Kumar's U-turn. Rahul made it very clear to the Bihar audience that he is not looking for someone like Nitish Kumar who can't handle pressure. As Lok Sabha elections loom, the BJP appears confident, while Congress scrambles to regain the lost ground. The path has become tougher for Congress. If you look at Mamta ji's statements, Mamta ji is very much part of the India Alliance. Uh, and most of the other members who are part of the India Alliance are still members of the uh, India Alliance. Of course, uh, Mr. Nitish Kumar has left the Indian Alliance, India Alliance, and he's gone to the BJP. Uh, you can guess as to what the reasons are for him leaving. Uh, that's fine. We'll we'll fight in Bihar as the India Alliance. So I don't I don't agree that lots of our partners are not you know part of the alliance. Congress and AAP also fought the controversial mayor elections together in Chandigarh. But the question is still the same. Even if they realign now, how will the India Bloc counter the BJP's wave? If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to Mirror Now.